Okay, we're gonna make this baby booty out of money. Okay, so we're gonna start with the $10 bill. And I'm using the $10 bill because you might want some of it for reference. I know it'll be hard to see back and forth, but it's, it's worth the uh, in extra information. So you're gonna first fold in half in both directions. creases. You're going to want to fold it the hamburger style and you're going to want to have the flap at the top. Okay. And then you're going to fold in half and unfold from side to center. Sorry, I have to turn it. I just, it's trickier for me to do it when I don't turn it, but it'll look like that and then you'll unfold it. Okay, and so you'll do the same thing on the other side. <coughs> Sorry, I'm in my basement and we had to redo a wall, so if there's tons of dust down here. You're gonna take this corner and you're gonna fold to that crease you just made, and then you're gonna unfold because you're just making a guideline. All right, you're working on kind of your, well, I'm not even gonna say, you're actually working on the heel back here right now. Um, then you can unfold and you're gonna fold it into the inside. So you just open it up and you tuck it in and then fold everything back in place. Okay, so that it's, oops, can't see that very well, right there. Okay, and you'll do the same thing on the other side. Fold up the corner, unfold it, then do an inside reverse fold. I believe is the technical name for that fold. Okay. So hopefully we're all in the same spot right here. You've got your little tuck in folds on each side and you've got your guidelines. Okay. Now you're going to fold down just this top flap and you're going to fold it even with where your little corners end. Okay, and you want to fold down as straight as you can to do that. Okay, easy enough. Now, you're going to want to fold this, and you're going to use kind of a reference. You want it about the same distance as you've got going on here, but I kind of, for these, it's usually about the top of wherever the face mark is. <clears throat> So we're here now. Now you're gonna take and you're gonna imagine breaking this line into three even sections. We could go through the folding to make them even, but then you have tons of creases in the booty, so I don't do it. So I'm telling you to just picture it evenly. Okay, so the easiest way to kind of visualize it is I'm just sort of gonna point and you can see where a third sort of looks like. Okay, and you're gonna take that third mark, don't write on your money, and you're gonna fold the corner down to line up with it. It doesn't have to be exact. This is one of those times where exactness is not a requirement. So again, we kind of pointed at it about there. You just wanna do your best to kind of keep them even. <clears throat> this is actually the heel back point of that shoe so if you want to make it narrower you could but it's about a third <clears throat> all right and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold this flap up to be even with this one but the first thing so fold it up and then unfold it and fold it in half to where you folded. This will come into play later as we put the bow on. Okay, so you've got that. <clears throat> and 
Now we need to make this front part of the shoe. Okay. So you're going to lift this up and you're going to look and inside here, you can see that this is caught. This piece of paper is caught on an edge right there. You're going to pull it out of that edge. Okay. You're going to pull it out of that edge and then you're going to fold in making a complete triangle right here and angle it so that it kind of goes in a little bit like a shoe. So it looks like so. Okay, don't worry, we're doing it on the other side. So again, you open it up and this corner in here is caught inside there. So you gotta pull it out like so. Okay, and then you fold to get that complete triangle and you angle. It's not an exact angle. I'm sorry, it's a little bit imprecise, but that's sort of the way I origami. Um, okay, now you're gonna flip it over. Okay, and you're gonna tuck this end inside here, but you're only gonna tuck it in about that far. Just enough so it'll definitely stay in there and crease it down, okay? Turn it back over. And now we're gonna kind of round the boot front because you see how those have a little bit of a round edge. We wanna round these. So that means you're gonna fold the corner up and then you're gonna inside reverse fold it like we did on some of our earlier steps. This one sometimes takes a little more manhandling to get it in. So you've made the corner. Sometimes you gotta poke at it a little. And then see, poked it in and pressed it down. And we just now have a little bit of a rounded corner and we'll do the same thing. So I fold the angle about like that. <clears throat> and then I have to turn it sideways to get into it. But you'll poke, you'll unfold it and then pop it open so that you can press that in and make your circle. Okay, you can really see how it's starting to come together as a boot. We're now gonna put our ribbon in. Okay, I know, white on white, bad cinematographic choice, but it's what it is. So we unfold that part we stick our ribbon in there and we fold this over it, okay? Because what you're gonna do now is lift this up. So we lift that up and you sort of massage it into a round shape. And you can see we've got the front of the boot but it's kind of not lifted. So we have to put our fingers in and pull it up a little. Okay, you just stuck your finger in there and lifted it a little. And then we tie a bow to make it into a shoe, which you don't need to watch me tie a bow. Little, little hack tip, if you actually, when you're tying the bow, you tie a knot first, it makes the bow easier to make because it'll hold all of the, uh, money in place in the shoe formation and then you can just tie the bow. So I guess you get to watch me tie the bow. And voila, you have the other shoe. You've got two baby shoes.